friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be working on an application that will basically perform the CRUD operation in Rust language and the data will be stored in the PostgreSQL database. So this is the overall application overview that I'm going to be making in this video. So let's go to the screen. So as you can see here that I'm present in this terminal and what I will do first of all, uh, let's zoom in in order to show you. Let's uh, first of all clear this. And after that, as you can see here, that these are some of the uh, application directories that I have created earlier. But uh, if I show you this specific directory in which the um, CRUD application or the CRUD operation application, the code that is present in it is present in the workspace directory, right? So I have already created it. So let's show you that project. And after that, I will create it again for you, right? So let's say um, uh, cat workspace uh, after that um, source and then the what you can say main rs so this is the overall code of the application that i'm going to be sharing with you and uh, this is the application code and if you want to access this code you can simply go to this uh, github repository that i have uh, small projects and inside this let's go to this rust and after that you can simply go to the workspace Right, so this is the application code in which all the data and the source code of this um, application will be present, as you can see here. So yeah, now let's go to the uh, screen and let's execute it from there. Now I will create another directory that will by the name of the testing in which it will just be an application that is shown to you and uh, the original is present in the workspace directory, right? So let's say, um, first of all, write cargo uh, new cargo new testing right so as you can see here that this is the uh, cargo testing directory that is created here this one right now what i will do first of all i will uh, move to this directory like cd testing now i'm present in it currently there are two files that are present the first one is the source and the second one is the cargo tml now let's write a uh, new vim and source uh, main rs so yeah, this is the code in which uh, I will be working on. This is the uh, file in which I will be working on and writing this code. But first of all, let's open the terminal in the new Vim. So this is the terminal section. So let's write uh, what you can say first of all, like this. Uh, terminal, right? So yeah, this is the terminal and let's go back to the editor in which I will be writing the code and let's remove this hello world, right? So now let's go uh, start from the beginning. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to take input from the user like this. Take input, not input, take, take input like this. Right, so then now uh, let's under uh, this function, what I will write, I will write some print statements. Like the first one is going to be create a project. These are the options that will be shown to the user that whether the user wants to create a project. Print line. And then the next option is going to be uh, view the project, view a project, right? Now let's write the third option that is basically to what you can say update a project, right? Now the th fourth one is going to be uh, sorry, is going to be what you can say. Uh, a delete a project right so these are the four options that will be shown to the user in order to select that which option that the user wants to execute right so now the next thing i'm going to be writing the print statement that is going to be showing the user like uh, enter your choice right enter your choice now this is the thing that the user will basically enter one, two, three, four, in which uh, the if the uh, three uh, up to one from one to four, if these numbers are executed, then the choice will be accepted. Otherwise, it will be rejected. Right. So now let's work on the, uh, up the what you can say another thing. First of all, let's use a CRAT or that is the Rust declaration that first of all I will use or uh, uh, write use and then I will write std and then io uh, sorry std and then io and then self and then write like this 
So yeah, what this means basically, it means that it will uh, work on the functionalities of the input output and uh, this first self is basically de uh, referring to this uh, input output, right? So this self is basically referring to this uh, std input output and this write will basically uh, make the functionality in which when you write something, it will be uh, shown to you. Right, so this is the right functionality that is basically when you input something uh, and write something as an input, it will be shown to you. So this is the functionality of it that I'm going to be writing it here. So let's write IO STD out. So now you can take the input and you can also give the output. So I'm going to uh, give it the output like STD out, not STD in, right? So now let's write flush. And after that, let's expect failed to flush the std out so what this means basically it will uh, i will give any number one two three four and once i give the number it will immediately catch that number by using this std output uh, and the flush means that it will immediately take this output once i uh, write this right and let's say if the uh, output is not taken uh, or if this number is not taken then it will give me this error that hey fail to flush the std out okay so yeah this is the functionality of it that how you can take the number immediately after return now the next thing that i'm going to be working on is to write um, let's say let take choice now once the uh, input is taken and once it is uh, what you can say taken here in the flush what i will do i will take the choice from the user uh, this choice that the user has written i will take this choice and save it inside this uh, take choice variable so this take choice is going to be string literal and after that this is going to be like uh, this so basically what it does it will take this choice uh, in the form of integer or the uh, sorry in the form of string literal and it will be saved inside this take choice variable right so after that the next thing that i'm going to be working on is to write um, let's say um, what you can say is to io um, std in now the next thing is to write uh, io std in and then write uh, um, trim not trim but uh, but uh, I have forgotten about it that uh, trim parse. Yeah, this is, I think this is going to be, yeah. Trim parse expect. Uh, sorry, this is not the thing. In this, instead, I will write std in, and then uh, what it will do, it will uh, take the input, and after that, read line, yeah. So std in, read line, read the line like um, mute and after that take choice so I will show you I will explain to you that what it means so expect and uh, once I do this I will write a uh, failed to read the line so let's write this like this and one thing I also need to make sure that write the mute here so basically it will take the value as a string save it inside this take choice and once this uh, take choice uh, value is stored here it will basically be uh, reading it from this uh, std in right so this is the functionality in which it will read this take choice variable and if this is failed then it will give me this error that failed to read the line and what does it mean by mutable so mute is uh, basically make sure that the value uh, is mutable or it can be changed so let's say the take choice can be one can be two can be three can be four so it can be changed so this is the reason that i have written the mutable right so this is also the mutable that will make sure that the line that is reading is mutable and it has it can be changed and uh, once uh, it, it will make sure then it will uh, read this line and if it is not reading this line then it will give me this error now the next thing that i'm going to be working on is to write another let and that is going to be take choice so this is also the take choice variable but now this take choice is not string literal in this case just like in this case instead this take choice is uh, by uh, using this uh, data type right so this is the uh, unsigned integer 
8 bits but this is a single true right so make sure to keep this in mind that you can name that variable name exactly the same but the data type should be the different now the next thing that I'm going to do is to write um, take choice now this take choice is taken from here right so this is a variable and this is the take choice that is written here take choice trim parse and now once I do this I will write uh, please enter a valid number, right? Like this. So what does it mean? Basically, uh, this uh, take choice will take the variable, uh, this uh, mm, this number uh, that is written, uh, written in string. This will take this string um, value and convert it into integer values. Right, so the trim will basically work on the functionality in order to remove the spaces from the uh, variable or to remove the white spaces, tabs, or any kind of uh, uh, extra space from this. Uh, what you can see from the result that the user will enter, and the parse will basically convert this in string value into the integer value, and that integer value will going to be the unsigned in, uh, integer that is going to be the eight bit. So I hope you understood. Basically, first of all, I have taken the input from the user. After that, the input is taken as a string. After that, the uh, string value is converted to integer value without any extra spaces and uh, tabs and all of these things. Now, this integer value will be used in the if statement, right? So let's write match. So now let's write match. This is going to be the if statement. Uh, the way in which the rest will uh, be doing the if statement you can also uh, work on the like if else if else but I'm making uh, choosing the uh, what you can say easy way in which I will be writing match match and this is the take choice and inside this take choice what I will do I will write a condition like one if the user enters the first condition it will what it will do it will print the statement like uh, what you can say created a project right so this is the overall thing that the user will be uh, shown to uh, that the user will basically see right so yeah let's like this all right so now the second is going to be um, like this uh, the second message will be shown to me view project right so if the user entered the second or the two, then it will uh, enter the uh, message that view or view the project, not view a project, right? View the project. Now the third point is to basically write a print line. Uh, what you can say, mm, updated a project, right? Now the fourth point is basically to write uh, what you can say, deleted project right so yeah this is the overall thing and one thing that you also need to keep in mind is to use the else statement or the default statement just like you are using in on the, uh, other languages uh, like if statement and else statement right so this is going to be the else statement I will write it like this all right so this is going to be writing the print line uh, what you can say uh, um, a number the choice the choice is unrecognized uh, recognized like this all right so yeah i hope you understood that how it will work now the next thing that i'm going to do is to make uh, this function call inside this main function now let's write take input so yeah this is the overall thing that basically it will take the uh, data from the user so let's save this in order to check whether it is working fine or not so now let's say uh, I'm present in the um, pre, what you can say testing directory. I will write cargo run src main um, main dot rs. Now it is giving me some error that enter your choice. I need to put the semicolon here, right? So I have forgotten about it. Yeah. So rest is strict in this matter, right? So let's write again you can see here that this is the application running create a project view a project update or delete a project let's say if i write create it will be giving me this message created a project viewed all right updated a project or fourth 
deleted a project let's say if i write again and write five it will give me this error that the choice is unrecognized it is working fine right so now let's take a look at uh, what you can say or some other functionalities in which i will not uh, print this statement instead i will be using the functionalities so i will be writing some kind of functions right um, this uh, first of all write fn create project all right similarly fn uh, view project all right fn update project right and uh, once this is done fn uh, function delete project right so this is basically the these are the functions that will be handling these works on the project right so now let's go to the uh, if statement and uh, remove them and simply write and call these functions like create project like this and uh, after that what you can say view project next thing is to update project mm, update project now the next thing is going to be delete project yeah delete project so yeah these are the four functions that will be called here and they will be uh, the, the code that i will be writing of creating a project viewing a project will be written here right so create project view project update and delete project now the next thing that i'm going to do is to not uh, fill them uh, with code instead i will just be calling another function that i'm going to be creating here all right so in which i will be connecting to the database after making the connection to the database i will insert the values view the values update the values and delete the values and i will call those functions inside each of these functions and uh, these functions will be called here so yeah i hope you understood so now let's take a look at uh, let's say first of all i will write another um, what you can say rest declaration uh, use declaration that is uh, what you can say postgres uh, the next thing that I'm going to write is to uh, like what you can say client that is basically the Postgres client in which I will build the connection and no TLS no TLS will basically make the connection happen this is the Postgres client this is the no TLS that will basically help you to build the connection with Postgres SQL and this is the error message let's say if any kind of error occurred during the execution of the uh, Postgres code right so yeah these are the uh, three kind of things that are basically be used and it, this will be helpful in the postgres execution so now let's write connect db now the next thing that i'm going to be writing is to first of all write let mute client right so mute is basically mutable that can be changed so the client value can be changed so it is not something that will be uh, a constant so yeah this is the reason that i have written mute and now the next thing that i'm going to be writing is let's say client uh, connect now inside this connect what i will write i will write postgres sql and now let's write postgres this is the username and after that this is the password simple password i can i will change it no worry about it so yeah this is just a local development so after that uh, let's say Mm, uh, this uh, at the red sign local host this is the host and this is the workspace that will basically be showing my uh, what you can say the workspace database that I will be that I have uh, created earlier right so this no TLS that will basically make sure that the uh, connection is established now this is the question mark that will basically make sure that the error uh, if the error occurred then it will give me this error Right, so there is no need for you to write the error extra uh, explicitly. Instead, this question mark will show that the error is present or not. It will, uh, if once the error is present, it will give this error. Otherwise, it will not give me this error. Right. So now the next thing that I'm going to be write is client um, execute. Now let's write inside this like this. First of all, let's write insert, uh, sorry, create table if not exists, if not exists, and that table is going to be project, 
right so that project and after let's write this sign also because this create uh, client execute will also make sure that the table is created if it is not created then the question mark will basically make sure that it will give me this error right so now let's write the semicolon and inside this i will write the id what you can say serial uh, primary key like this right primary key like this name is going to be let's say war char uh, 255 characters and then not null right so this should not be null similarly the description is going to be let's say um, war char and 255 not no right so yeah this is the overall uh, code of it that how the it will be connected to the database and how it will uh, build the connection uh, with the postgres so after that let's write print line the print line will make sure that it will give me the message uh, successfully connected to the data so yeah this is uh, done after that let's write ok in order to give the status that it is working fine now it is done create table if not exist project id serial all right everything seems fine now the next thing that i'm going to be working on is basically to once the connection is established when the table is created now the next thing is to insert the data into that table so let's write um, insert data um, like this so but before inserting the data let's uh, return the values and that is the result and inside this result there will be the success message and there will be the error message so basically the result will be uh, returned and this will return two kind of values the first one is going to be the success value and the second one is going to be the error values so i'm not going to be printing the success values because i'm going to be printing that value inside the insert data function just like this message is printed here i will be printing the same message uh, by inserting the data successfully instead of returning this uh, success message here but i will return the error message instead uh, in case if the error occurred then it will return that error to me right so now the next thing that i'm going to be working on is to uh, let's say um, uh, let's write let me out client and now let's write client uh, connect so this is connect the same thing will be repeated postgres sql postgres Postgres like this uh, 1122 at the local host local host workspace right so this is the workspace da database and inside this is no TLS to make the connection established now the next thing that I'm going to be working is to check for error now this is fine uh, after that let's check that uh, whether the client is inserting the data or not so let's write execute execute and inside this what i will write first of all i will write the question mark and then insert insert into project now the next thing is to write what are the things that will be inserted in the project the name the description and the values will be this. so let's write dollar one dollar sign two so yeah this is the these are the values that will be uh, what you can say inserted and uh, one thing that i have uh, forgotten about it is that let's uh, remove this like this and now this will be fine right so i'm going to be writing the values also yeah so now this is going to be fine let's write uh, another uh, values like the name that i will be writing so the name that i will be writing here inside like this so let's write ampersand sign now the next first value that i'm going to be writing is the bilal khan and the description is going to be ampersand sign and uh, what you can say these values and 
Uh, this is the description, right? Yeah, this is fine now. And say so write the column here, right? So yeah, this will basically enter the data, and I will give the message here that uh, um, uh, data is inserted, inserted successfully, right? So let's give this, and now let's write the OK statement that it is working fine, right? So after that, the next thing that I'm going to be working on is to make the, um, uh, what you can say, view function in order to view the data. So view data, and I will return the same result, like uh, in which the success message will not be shown, but instead the error message will be shown returned, right? So let's write error like this. And now the next thing, let's write mute client. Uh, client and that is going to be the client connect right uh, let's write postgresql uh, like uh, postgres and then what you can say uh, 1122 and then localhost and then workspace right so let's write workspace uh, no TLS right so yeah this will work fine and after that the next thing that I'm going to do is to write client but this time the client is not going to be uh, executed as it is instead the row first of all there will be a row variable rows and uh, this row variable will be equal to the uh, client query right this is the point query uh, once you write this query now the next thing that I'm going to be writing is to select select uh, from project name uh, select name and sorry like this select name description from project and uh, yeah this will be executed after that uh, let's write like this now the next thing that i'm going to be working on is to let's see like this. now the next thing is going to be like uh, for for state uh, that is for a loop that in which for row in rows that will give me all the values of the name and the description so let's write name string literal is going to be uh, row get zero and similarly let description string literal row get one so it will give me the values in the of the row one and row zero and row one so row zero is representing the name and row one is representing the description and once these values are returned i will print them like this right so let's write and the name like this and the description is like this so let's write the name this is the description of it and once this is done uh, it will be okay for me right so now let's go out of this loop and write okay story, right so yeah, this will uh, uh, give me this data that will be returned from the project. Yeah. So now let's take a look at another project. There are two functions still remaining, the update one and the delete one. So let's write this. Uh, result in, in which I will write what you can say error. This will be returned. The success value will not be returned, but the error will be returned. Let mute. Uh, client is equal to client connect let's say postgres and then postgres uh, can say and 
there are some point there is something that I missed so this could be not one this is going to be two right Uh, 1122 is equal to localhost workspace and after that no TLS to uh, build the connection alright so the next thing is to write what you can say uh, or in update what it will do first of all it will uh, let's work on this first of all let's write client execute I will show you there, right? So client execute, and inside this client execute, what I will do? I will write update uh, update project set name description uh, where where is mentioned, right? So where name is like this. Let's write three. This is going to be two uh, two, and this is going to be one. So the name and the description will be updated and based on the name that is previously present in the database it will be given to it. So now the same thing I will write like uh, let's say like this and let's remove the uh, let's uh, write this sign here and uh, once this is written let's write in another line now this will be fine let's write comma uh, so col uh, colon and after that comma and uh, the next thing is to give the value that that are the updated values right so the updated values are going to be updated values are going to be uh, let's say uh, what you can say this is going to be Ali Ahmad this is the updated value right and uh, this is the description this is the updated description right and now let's give the name so the name is going to be this name that will be taken from the uh, project table so how I will take this so first of all let's write sorry I will write this like uh, the first of all like this now let's write rows client query and now uh, let's write the same query that is going to select name name not and after that from project I will only take the name not the description from the project right so once the name is taken after that I will uh, write row in rows for row in rows I will print the uh, I will work on this loop and after that let's write name and this name is going to be equal to yeah, row row get zero so once this row is uh, gotten or, or once I took this row then I will be what I will be working on I will basically use this row in this client execute right so uh, so yeah yeah this is basically the client execute so yeah it is working now uh, I need to write another uh, like this so this one yeah so basically it will take it will take the name and this name will be used here and based on this name once the name is verified that whether this name belong uh, present in the project then it will update the uh, name and the description with the new updated values Ali Ahmad and this is the updated description right so let's write on this one and let's go out of uh, this uh, execute function and write print line and let's write print statement like the value the values are successfully uh, successfully updated right so now let's uh, give uh, go out of this loop and write ok like this so yeah this is the updated code in which uh, the value will be taken first of all after that once the value is identified then the, uh, they will be updated now the next thing is to write delete for data all right so delete data is going to be deleting the data return the same values in a result like this uh, empty empty success message but the error should be returned let new 
client or client what you can say uh, sorry client connect postgres sql uh, well, after that let's write postgres um, a local host workspace workspace and then the node ls mm, that will basically node ls uh, i have forgotten that uh, uh, one thing that it will make sure that uh, the data is going through the net uh, and the connection is establishing and uh, there is no requirement for uh, like the transport layer security right so this is also an important point that i have forgotten that it will not require the transport layer security in which the data will basically build the connection with the postgres sql and it is commonly used for the local development so yeah this is the point that i just uh, um, just just came to my mind this time right so yeah after that, the next thing that uh, uh, you need to keep this in mind, postgres SQL, I just, I just need to see that where, where is the error here. Let mute client, client connect, postgres, SQL, postgres, uh, 1122 local host workspace. So yeah, it is fine now, right? So now let's take a look at uh, um, what you can say. Now the next thing is basically to work on the uh, uh, client that will take the value. First of all, it will identify the value, and once the ad values are identified, then it will delete it. So I need to use the same values here, but just change the query, right? So let's rows uh, query like this. Mm, and select name name from uh, what you can say uh, name from and disk uh, project right so this will basically take the query from the project and one thing i also need to write like this this thing that i forgot about it sorry yeah. now it will find now uh, basically what it will do it will take the name from the project after that, I will run the loop in which all the values will be uh, will be continued, will be given to me in a loop. And uh, let's write uh, let mm, name is string literal is going to be returned to me uh, like get zero. And after that, I will write client execute uh, execute and once this is done i will write like this uh, and now let's write the uh, what you can say the value that delete delete from project uh, where so where let's write project p and where name name is this one right so now let's write this and uh, let's write m percent m percent and this is going to be the name so yeah this is going to be the name based on this name the data of the uh, data will be deleted from the project right so yeah let's write the print statement in order to give the success message that data is deleted successful right so now the next thing is to oh, give the okay statement yes. so now this is done now from my side it's pretty uh, let's say tiring but uh, yeah but i have to do it right so now let's write uh, call these functions here one by one and the first thing that i'm going to call is to write uh, insert data so insert data will be called but it is not that simple instead i have to write the uh, uh, i have to return the um, error also that i have returned here i will call this error also here in this uh, um, what you can see in this function right so let's write it first of all like this 
let's see it. If if uh, if error if mute error sorry if mute error e and after that if mute error e is equal to this then what it will do if mute error is equal to this then what it will do it will give me this uh, message that e print line uh, e print line error uh, error creating a project right creating a project. sorry creating a project and this will be returned like this right so yeah, it uh, if the basically it will check that if the error is uh, present, then it will give me. Otherwise, it will execute this successfully. So now the next thing is to repeat the same message here, because I have returned the error here in all of these. So if error e is equal to view data, then it will give me this message that e print line. E print line will basically work on the uh, insert uh, giving the error so yeah uh, error giving the in the project in the project like this. so yeah uh, the next thing is to write on the update section if uh, mute error um, like this uh, what you can say update uh, data and now the next thing is to write uh, eprint line like this and this time is going to be uh, error updating project right so this term is deleting so let's write if mute uh, sorry mute error uh, like this error is equal to delete pro delete data now I need to write like e print line error in deleting a project right so this is going to be working fine so let's write uh, e so let's uh, save this now let's go to the terminal and after that cargo run source main rs oh there are so many errors that are currently present um, expected expression all right so i need to uh, expected this from this uh, unit type so where this is present connect db alrighty so let's check this it should be present outside it should be present inside right so like not inside but outside a return type might be returning missing here uh, let's check this uh, okay all right, so it is. It should not be returning the values like this. It should, it should, it should be fine. Like we delete it again. Now it is done. The OK is should not be returned because there is no returning value. All right. Now there are some problems here that I need to take a look at them. Basically, these are the problems that uh, Postgres is not resolving. Right. So let's check them and I will get back to you. All right, so I basically the error is present in this uh, line. That is basically, let me just show you here. So yeah, I need to write let instead of mute. I have forgotten about it because this should be declared as a variable. And after that, once this is declared, I can execute this. Yeah. 
this should not be changed instead it should be declared as a variable now other things are fine but I need to write the return statement also that is basically like this and uh, like this mm, let's write the return all right Mm. Yes. Yeah, so currently there is one thing that I, I have forgotten about it. So let's write return here. So yeah, this should not give me the error this time because alrighty a print line argument never used. Alright, so basically I need to write this uh, curly braces also in order to make this work because uh, go uh, rust has this kind of functionality that I need to specify the curly braces for each print statement right so yeah this is the error on my side that's why the argument is not used let's write like this now uh, there is not I'm not seeing any kind of error uh, particularly right now so let's again write this uh, use of uh, undeclared crat or module postgres sql so yeah this is the basically the error that i need to solve it let's say if i go write ls inside this cargo toml file i need to write something like first of all write nvim newvim cargo toml and once this is written i need to write the dependencies also because i have forgotten to write the dependencies and that dependency is going to be like this uh, simply 0 0.190 0 .0. right so this is the dependency that i need to specify let's write this and after that let's uh, ex uh, exit this and now once it is done uh, if i uh, let's say let's say write cargo build it will take me some time in order to build this and uh, uh, import the cargo crat that will be used in this function and once this function is used and this functionality of the postgres is used uh, and fetched then after that i will be able to execute this so yeah you need to take care of the dependencies also because uh, it will give you the errors and you won't be aware of that where this error is causing so yeah as you can see here that uh, these are some of the files that are importing and compiling once they are compiled i will be able to execute this so let's wait for this so now uh, they are uh, executed and uh, but after that it is giving me some errors like a lot of errors that i'm currently seeing so let's take a look at them one by one So first of all, it is giving me this error that uh, you need to, this function should return result uh, or option to accept this sign. So I need to return this uh, in order to make this work. So let's write result. And now this result should be giving me the message like this. And once this is done, I will simply write OK. Now this OK will make sense, right? Now let's execute this, again let's clear this, mm. cargo build, right, so now you can see here that it is giving me my, um, more errors also that I need to figure them out, this method takes two argument but one was uh, supplied, let's take a look from the beginning, connect db, 
so yeah this is the error that I need to remove this basically it should not be used and uh, the other things are working fine so let's remove them like, let's write like this and once I uh, go back because this is the first error that I'm uh, that is causing to me uh, let's go there so finally there are some issues that I have noticed in this code so the first uh, issue is that basically uh, I need to write the batch execute instead of ex uh, executing I will write the batch execute and once this is done the next step is to let's say take a look at the description this is fine and once this is done this is the query that I need to write properly like I have forgotten about this uh, basically the emptiness uh, if the description or the um, what you can say the from project where is empty so this is the reason that I have uh, I need to keep this empty but I have forgotten to write it so yeah this is the error and similar error here also because the where is not present in this condition but I still need to write this and similarly here and uh, let's uh, um, remove another here error that is basically I need to remove two uh, one semicolon that is should be one not two and uh, by mistake I did this so let's remove them yeah so let's remove from them here also so yeah it should work fine so yeah this is these are some of the errors that uh, were causing so let's um, again right let's say cargo build this time the errors are decreased but there are still errors like uh, this one but what I need to do is to write expect sorry um, expect the reason should be expected here like uh, this could be any reason right so I, I will just write the reason right you know, what are the reasons that you are expecting right that you can do any reasons mm, save this sorry um, like this move here to the terminal now uh, this is some error that it is giving me remove the mute I need to remove the mute here sorry now from the connect DB mm, now it should also work fine uh, this is giving me the data that uh, connect DB is never used all right so I need to write the connect DB functionality here also in order to check this uh, let's say um, like this all right so if the project is created it should work that this way, right? uh, and let's say can I if let error like e and then uh, connect db and then it will be um, working fine in this case now let's write uh, what you can say uh, e print line um, failed error in, con in error in connecting to the data Right, so yeah, this return. So I think this uh, will remove all the errors from now. Uh, if this is intentional, prefix with uh, yeah. So oh, sorry, sorry. I need to write this uh, um, message properly, like here. In this case, it should work fine. Alrighty, so 
so I need to run this because I have just built it and uh, now let's run this uh, source main RS now it is working fine right so previously I was building it and then there was no error present in it and I removed all of them but now it's time to create this so let's say if I want to create something like create a project the successfully connected to the database and data is successfully inserted so now let's take a look at this this is the data this was the previous data that i already inserted so don't need to worry about it but this is the new data that is inserted right previously i named it tim but now i named it bilal khan right so you don't need to worry about it now the next thing is to update this right so let's update this uh, so update this with another name that is going to be not bilal khan but ali ahmad right so the this value is successfully updated so let's check this uh, let's say like this mm, where is this view so let's view again we can see here that these values both of these values are updated right so yeah and now let's check this delete now both of these values are deleted them again nothing right so yeah basically this is the uh, simple uh, what you can say explanation that how you can delete it and basically it found the data and once the data is found either the name whatever the name right so whatever the name it found the data of that name and it deleted all of the data of that names right it could be the team it could be Bilal Khan it could be Ali Ahmad whatever the now, uh, name it found it deleted all of the data so similar case applied here that whatever the name it found it updated all of the data right so it doesn't matter so this is just uh, depending on the functionality but the code is executing fine and it is successfully updating the data creating it uh, saving the data in the database and this code that will be present here as you can see here that this is the code that I have uh, already created here and you can take a look at this and uh, this is small projects uh, I will give the link of this project in the description so that you can check it out so I hope you like this video and if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. So till then, goodbye.